and now we are live. Let me go ahead and start the timer. Let me get upstairs real quick. And we will get underway once again. GMU versus Towson. We'll get up real quick, guys. Be patient with me. My apologies for that. Thank you for your patience, everyone. All right, so uh, Towson defeated UVA 3-0. to um, And now we're getting started with this game between JMU and Towson. This will be JMU's first game. This will be Towson's second. Beautiful, beautiful day up here in Towson, Maryland. We're 20 minutes north of Baltimore. My name is D. Drayford. I'll be one of your commentators for the Towson Throwdown. Well, we're going to have four teams playing today. Towson, JMU stands for James Madison University, University of Virginia, and the University of Maryland. Might have to come down again real quick just to hit some recording on my end. Oh, what a beautiful catch by number 12. My goodness. Transition game is strong. Big strong. Townsend's on the front line. Jamie is on the back line. They have approximately, well, five balls. My man Turner, number 10. Didn't play in the last tournament for JMU, but glad to see him back on the court. My man, number 99, Spears. To my right, on the JMU side, his left. Oh, well, that was, that was easy. I mean, you can't just throw my man's chest like that. I mean, that's... That's too easy for my man number 16, man. That's, that's easy money. Easy money. All right, so it seems like it's going to be a little bit of transition game between JMU and Towson. Towson, this is where they kind of thrive. This is what they want to do. They enjoy putting their opponents to the back line. Really kind of sports them to be uncomfortable. And Garrett, unfortunately, reached... In that situation, at number 24, give me my apologies, number 24, Schaefer, was able to get the kill successfully. His right, my left. Or his right and my right. You get what I'm saying. All right, so give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. It, they shouldn't be doing too much moving from this side. Yeah, I think they're going to stay up here for a little bit. So just give me a second. I'll be right back. Good thing we had the camera angle right there. My man, Kyle Strong, with the catch. Team throw on the right side. Never mind. Spoke way too soon. A little bit of trading back and forth. Like I said, these two teams are strong, showing strong emotions towards each other. It's always a heated game. My man, Andrew, on the left. Number 37 throws just a tad bit low. Just a bit low. Yeah, Jamie is definitely a little bit more motivated. Last time uh, these two teams play against each other, they did go to overtime. Another catch by number 17, Avery. And that's a kill. Is that a kill? It's not a kill. 
Sorry, number 16, my apologies, sir. Not number 17. My apologies for that. Jamie's doing very well on the back line. And that's another catch for my man. Number eight, catch him in shame, man. You, you really can't be, like, I'm serious, man. Like, you can't be doing that. I mean, like, Patrick, Patrick number eight, man. I mean, he's just on demon's side, man. Like, you, you got to do team throws on him. You do single throws, like, Patrick's going to eat that up all day, every day, and twice on Sunday. And today is a Sunday. Uh oh, he's in trouble. Man, Jamie was really pushing up. Oh, body shot. Number one goes down from Jamie. Oof. Really unconventional by both teams right there. Jamie has man advantage slightly. They've been playing this point from the back line for the most part. Yeah, but last time these two teams played, the score was, I believe, three to two in overtime in favor of JMU at University of Maryland. That was roughly about two weeks ago. All right, that was a smart throw by number 31. Just kind of keeping away from Patrick. Keeping away from Patrick's range. Oh, that was a beautiful catch. That brings back Garrett. The transition game from Towson becomes a catch in his second to none, man. Like they, they really got that down to a science. Like they really figure it out. They've been figuring it out for years too, man. Oh, you can't like. <sighs> okay, guys. So let's let's talk about this. You can't throw the 65, Jason Ball. You can't throw to number eight, Patrick. And you can't throw to number 16. I'm pretty sure 16 is eight. Like, like, you can't be doing that. Those are three players from JMU that if you throw single catch, single throws, and it's Brett Bassett, you're going to the bench. You're going to the bench. There's no nice way of saying this. You will be going to the bench, and you will not be having a good time. It is just that simple. Team throw on the left side, unsuccessful. But team throw on the right for Towson was successful. Mm, that's a tad bit high. They will count it. I don't like it. That one would definitely count. Towson still have ball advantage, but JMU has slight man advantage. And another JMU player goes down. He does not have a jersey, so we do not know his name. This is still the first point, too. That's a wild play. Ooh. And once again, another catch by who else? Number eight, Patrick. I'm trying to tell people, man, like you can't be, like I, I just said, if you join in Patrick and it's a single throw, you're going to the bench. You're going to the bench. It, it, it's just that simple. You will be going to the bench. All right. Yeah, yeah, like just, just don't do that. Anywho, Spear is pushing up now. That could have been balls over. That ball was just a tap it too high. The ref uh, from, uh, from uh, Virginia, White, gave him a pass. But that could have been balls over. Just got bailed out. Turner, number 10 on the right side. Kind of just taking this position. Spear and Andrew on the left. Oh, wait. Was it blocked? Was it blocked? It was blocked. Spear did his job. That was a dangerous. That was dangerous, though. Could have got caught. Oh, and Patrick missed it. 
Good job by Nate, number 34, from Thompson taking my man out. And it's about even for players for both teams. Oh, got it. The first throw was not successful, but the second one was successful, taking out number 65, Jason Ball. Got to pay attention at all times. Towson found a way to get back within this point. JMU has man advantage for the longest time. What about the past six to eight minutes? Oh, and Nate missed it. And that's going to put Towson on the 10 count, and JMU smells blood. Because they know that one of Towson better catchers is not on the court anymore. Not saying that none of these guys can catch. Towson is a very good transitional catching team. And they have shown that time and time again. I'm just saying that Nate is one of their better catchers that everyone knows they got to pay attention to. But this would be a good opportunity for some of the younger players from Towson to prove their worth. Because JMU is not trying to go to overtime for Towson. They're trying to win convincingly. Turner with the throw, low, good. Spear with the throw. Good block by number 92. Good follow-up throw. Close range by Tommy. Didn't get hit by James. Team throw, nope, never mind. That was a tad bit too high, but they will count it. Good kill by number 99, Spear. Take it out, number three from Towson. Big catch by Andrew. Tommy successfully dodged that ball somehow, some way. But number zero is pushing up. Yikes. That would not count. That will count. 15 goes down. Two players left for Towson. Woo! That was a crazy throw by Zero Kurt. Team throw, got him. One play left to beat, couldn't get it, and he dropped his glasses in the mix. JMU is up one to zero. Towson must respond. like that within 45 seconds right out the back two players from Towson goes down number 31 and head captain Garrett 
like I said before, Towson must respond. And there's a pop ball. There's a pop ball. We need a ball. Get a ball, guys. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Yo, y'all kind of, I mean, y'all kind of like, y'all getting a little bit too loud, man. I'm going to have to cut y'all down a little bit. Lord Jesus. Y'all a little bit too loud for my taste. I'm going to cut the crowd mic down a little bit. Give me a second. Ooh, good kill, though, by Towson. I did not see who got my man out. JMU does not have a jersey, so we do not know his name. Kurt with the throw misses against number 34, Nate, on the left side over there. Under six minutes left. Roughly 5.37 to be attacked. All right, let's see what we got here. No dice. No harm, no foul. Nate looking to throw. Good throw. Oh, and once again, Patrick, number eight, is just snagging all the balls. That single throw. Like, you can't do that. You have to put at least two on number eight, Patrick. You have to. It is a requirement. My man already got, like, four catches already. And this is his first game. Another missed catch. Back-to-back -back missed catches. Somehow, Patrick missed that one because he was not paying attention. All right, we're under the five minutes mark now. If neither team scores a point in this game, we will go to halftime. Yeah, 21, you out, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fam. But if either team is able to score a point, good job by Spear catching that. Catching that ball off of the transition. Much needed. And JMU is looking to eat right now. My guess. Anywho, like I was saying before, if a point is scored four minutes or under, the, did he get that? Schaefer caught that. Yo, and he gave him the two for one meal from Popeyes. Man, Bissett, no drink combo, meal activated. Towson is now on a 10 count. And as I was trying to say beforehand, before everyone's getting kind of crazy with the, with the noise, I turned that down a little bit. If a point is scored, four minutes or less, that time will be rolled over to the second half. However, if a point is scored and there's still like more than four minutes left on the clock, we will play the last point in the first half. And it looks like, based off of the way how things are going, the time will be rolled over if Towson is not able to get out of this situation. And it looks like they would not be able to get out of this situation. It's up to Tommy, though, to prove me wrong. He, and he has proved me wrong before in the past. Team throw coming up for JMU. Three, two, slight stagger throws, but not quite a point. I think Tommy got all the balls except for one. He got to get rid of one. And that's not going to work. And just like that, JMU is up 2-0. to zero. We are going to halftime. I mean, I also stopped the time too. My apologies. For that. The score is 2-1. to one, Sorry, 2-0 to zero in favor of JMU. We'll be back. We'll be back real soon. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. And Towson finished the season strong. As we're making our way towards Towson, Maryland, roughly 20 minutes north of Baltimore, we go at I-95 towards I-695 towards the Baltimore Beltway, where we're gonna welcome in your 2019 NCDA champions, the Towson Tigers, man, where they practice this beautiful facility at Billard Hall. And let's give tribute to our seniors who are freshmen in this current pitch right here. They were so young. 
We got my main man, Griffin Bash, second team All-American at number 10, Hunter Freeman. And then number 10 on the first team All-American, Jake Freeman. This current team is made up of seniors and sophomores who have valuable experience last year, making it all the way towards the Elite Eight last year. Now this team really pride himself both offensively and defensively, and they also have a very strong transition game. More times than not, they like to control the tempo, pinning their opponents towards the back line and making strong catches within the transition game. Now both Nate and Garrett will have the task of leading this team from the Elite A towards another championship. Do not sleep on these guys. They're very resilient. They have a lot of pride and joy, and they always gonna bring the energy. Good pump fake. Oh, my God! The lefty. Oh, it clipped him. Oh, he had it. He had it today. Oh! oh! Vicious. That was a vicious shot. All right, let's go. Alrighty, and we're back in the second half. That time, Rose roll over roughly about two minutes and 30 seconds. So we're starting off with 22 minutes and 30 seconds in the second game, in the second half. JMU's currently up two to zero. Towson got to respond and pick up the pace. But once again, my man with no jersey goes down. He's like either the first or second person out from JMU every single time within the first three points. If Towson gonna get back in this game, Garrett, number one, has to stay on the court for as long as possible. He's one of Towson's strongest arms. Number 37, sorry, number 34, Nate, gotta do his job on the transition game as well. As well as my man, Kyle Strong. Dang. Oh wait, no, 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 Garrett's fine. But uh, that game you played was not, number 16, is that Ross? I was saying Avery the whole time. My apologies, sir. Anywho, Garrett got to stay alive. And somehow, Schaefer, with the pro man catch, had three balls against him and still found a way to catch the one that he needed while successfully dodging the other two. Unbelievable. Looked like Spear might be called out by Kelly. No, it was actually number one. Spear is still alive. But yeah, Kyle Strong, number seven. Nate, number 34. And unfortunately, Garrett, number one, is on the bench. Those three players are going to have to come through for Towson. In some, in some shape or form. It starts with those three. And then the rest of the team picks up the picks up the momentum. Oh man, he was caught sleeping. Good cross kill by JMU. Yeah, JMU is coming out angry, y'all. Like they they didn't like the performance that they had back in Maryland. The league took notice, gave them a very low power ranking from their personal perspective. Wasn't a fan of that. Not me. I mean, JMU wasn't a fan of that. So they're, they're definitely playing with a sense of urgency. And they're looking a little bit more cohesive. I remember talking to Evan Essenberg, East Coast MVP and NCDA MVP, basically saying, like, hey, the team, they kind of have to learn how to win and play without me. So Evan Essenberg is not here today. So... JMU is learning the process of learning how not to play with Evan Essenberg. And they're also playing a different style. Another great kill 
by number 24, Schaefer. Take it out of number 21 from Towson. And like I said, what JMU is doing is kind of unprecedented for them. They're actually winning. Man, uh, sir, I'm not trying to pick on you. Oh, no, it hit the ground. No, it hit the ground. No. Oh, man, that could have been a blown call. Did he have the catch? He did. But did it hit the ground simultaneously towards the end? It did. Hence why the anger from JMU. But um, yeah, JMU has been doing a lot of their work in this first game against Towson from the back line. Oh, and he dropped it! Ah, oh, he had it. Ball had it. He had it the whole time. And JMU's not on a, yeah, JMU's not on a 10 count, man. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Tommy, Tommy and Nate on the left side. 91, 34 respectfully. Potentially looking for a team throw. But they gotta be accurate, cause Shafer been eat. Yeah. Yep, spoke too soon. Good job by Nate. Putting just a little bit of spin from the lefty to kind of keep my man honest. And JMU is on a 10 count. Now they got three players left. Andrew. Give me a minute. Andrew, Kurt. And number, I'm trying to figure out his number, number eight. Oh, my man Patrick. Oh, Patrick couldn't get it. Team throw successful, splitting his vision in half. All right, so it's up to Kurt and Andrew to figure out a way how to keep this a two possession game. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Towson is up. The score is two to one. Favor of JMU, but Towson is coming back. Unfortunately, number 31 goes down from that exchange. Dang! What a snap by Kurt, number zero. Take it out, Garrett, and he just ate it. So nonchalant. So nonchalant, man. Holy smokes. Yeah, so JMU is playing a very different style that's very unconventional by them. They're playing a more traditional, transitional game that's kind of mirroring just like Towson. JMU is doing to Towson what Towson normally wants to do to their opponent. And it's, and it's weird because for the past 10 years since I've known JMU, they've always been like the offensive juggernaut 
just pretty much just bullying the crap out of their opponents. Now, they're playing more strategic and kind of just allowing their players to kind of just pick their own spots within this new offense. Speaking of which, number 95, great catch, taking out Schaefer. Two JMU players go down that exchange. As we also going to give some love to, oh man, Kirk could not catch that one. Good job by Nate. I'm trying to give some love to the Towson players as well. I got y'all. I just need to pull out the roster. I'm doing like four things at once, y'all. So just bear with me. I promise I'll get it right. Oh, you can't do that, Nate. Nate, you can't do that. Come on now. The ball was in the air too long. The ball was in the air too long, man. You know better. Great job by Turner. Just really just putting himself in a good position, getting that catch. Much needed. Towson, if they lose another player, they will be on the 10 count. They can't afford to lose another player right now. Good pump fake, another pump fake. Not successful. Yikes, not successful at all. You hate to see it. Good job by number 12. Once again, taking out Schaefer. I'm going to get your name right, sir. I promise. I promise. Do not be mad at me. I just got to pull up the roster real quick, man, but I got you. I'm going to put some respect on it. Like I said, I got you, fam. We're going to put some respect on it. We're going to put some respect on my man, Eric. Number 12, I got you, sir. Let's get to work. All right, Kyle Strong. On the far right, now he's in the corner. Low ball by Garrett in the middle. Number 31, Hines. Woo, power throw by Turner right there. Trying to take Garrett's head off. Yeah, so Hines kind of like playing this position right now. You know, two out furthest right, Kyle two out furthest left, Tommy in the middle, Garrett straight in the middle, 95, Zachary to the left, who just dropped the catch. Man. Just like that, Towson is now on the 10 count after this next row. Now they're on the 10 count. Spear goes down. Good block. They're safe. Everybody's safe, but they're not comfortable. Kyle's the only person who actively got a ball, and he got to get rid of it. And Jamie is doing a good job putting the balls low or extremely high. That's just outside of the Tigers' reach. Garrett is looking for a kill, but Andrew was able to block it successfully. Cross. Just not, just miss it. All right, low throw by Andrew. No dice, no harm, no foul. Like I said, Jamie is doing a really good job making sure like none of these balls are catchable. All right, now I finally got my man number 16, Floss. Oh, Floss. There's no L, so it's just F O S S. So like boss, but false. Or something like that. Anywho, Turner almost got caught sleeping by, by Kyle Strong. Now James is playing a more traditional style than I'm using them playing, being on the front lines and pretty much just allowing their team to go to work. Team throw, successful, taking out Kyle Strong, number seven. Garrett, low throw, no dice. Pump fake by Hines. Four players left for J four players left for Towson. As you heard Schaefer saying, put two on them. They want two. Team throw. Two on them. They're gonna try it again on the left-hand side. They might try to do three. 
Good pump fake. Ooh, and it caught him. The second one was able to get Garrett out. Three players left. Tommy, Eric, and Hines. And Hines just missed it with the stagger team throw. Successful. Tommy, neither one worked. And it's going to be balls over in favor of JMU. We will stop the clock momentarily. All right, so JMU is up three to one. Woo! He almost had it. Dang, they, and Garrett is playing with gasoline right now, man. He was able to get that kill, though, nevertheless. Sheesh! Sorry about that, y'all. Man. My man Eric took a tumble, man, got out of that. Oh, man. Dang. Number 50, 52. 
Actually goes down that exchange too. And surprisingly enough, I don't have his number on the roster, so my apologies for that, sir. My apologies. Ooh, did Gary get the kill? Yes. No, wait, no. No, he did not. Thought he did. No, I thought he did. I thought he did. Yeah, yeah, good job by Gary getting the kill. I'm pretty sure that was a kill, man. Anywho, Nate with the throw. Oh, yike. Oh, Schaefer. Lord Jesus. Just hit my man right up the shoulder blade. Whew. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, Schaefer's playing way better in this tournament than in the previous tournament. Yeah. Yeah, he's playing way better in this tournament. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, Schaefer's cooking, man. Took it out Gary and Alex Shane's, man. He's, he's cooking, man. He's doing it. Good block. Ooh, we definitely missed that catch by Kyle Strong, but that was a great catch nevertheless. The ball just stayed low for so long. Turner goes down from that exchange. Oh! He caught that off the fingertip and told my man to go away. And number 27 and 21 from Towson, respectfully, with back-to-back -back catches. 27 being Justin, 21 being Scott. The back-to-back -back combo with the team throw. Team catch successful by Foss. Bring it back, number 99, Spear. Oh, number 12, step over the line. You hate to see it. Dang, Eric. Hate to see it, my boy. Hate to see it. Yeah, Towson was definitely firing on cylinders at this point, but uh, JMU was kind of able to change the momentum just a little bit. But it's kind of even in terms of players for both teams. I think it's six apiece. Did that hit his foot? It did. Wow. Just like that, JMU will be on the 10 count after this next throw. They have 15 seconds to get rid of one ball, and then they'll be back to 10. All right, let's see what's going to happen, though. Eh, good block. Good block. It's fair. I mean, I don't know your name, sir, because you don't have a jersey, so, you know, I could call you the guy with no, with no name, but that's going to tick somebody off. I don't want to do that. It is what it is, though. Anywho, good throw right there by number 52. Unfortunately, I don't have his number on the roster. So I don't know his name. And I'll probably check it on YouTube afterwards. If you're still listening, Jake, I appreciate your help. All right, team throw on the right side, most likely. And that, that was just a little off. And it's a little off. Spear trying to cut my man sleeping. Try to get, yeah, he tried to get Scott sleeping out of chains, but Scott was ready. He was definitely ready for that one. All right, so Kurt's pushing up. Tommy with the good block. Yeah, Tommy definitely want to be on Demon's time real soon, man. He can do it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes, sir, Tommy. I love it. That does count as a kill. And that will be balls over against JMU. And we need to stop the clock.
already, and that is game over, y'all. Friday scored three to one in favor of JMU. And uh, we'll be starting up the next game momentarily. I believe Maryland is up. Girl, don't be complacent You better take time uh -huh. You put me 